because it's Thursday. Oh, welcome back to the vanishing point. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been dreading doing this video and the universe itself has been conspiring against me to do it. This is the third time I've shot the same video. The first time everything fell over. The second time the footage cut off half of my head. Here's hoping this one works. Timelining any fictional universe gets to be a bit of a chore. There's always bits and pieces where the creators don't really sync their ideas as far as passing of time. We saw it in Pokemon when Ash was 10 years old and then a year's passed. He's 10 still. It's always an annoyance, especially when you're trying to timeline the entirety of this fictional universe. From the get-go of the DCAU, there are instances of weird time happenings going on. For instance, the very first episode of Batman the Animated Series, we see a TV screen with 15 days worth of dates, and Batman states that it all happened within a week. Looking at Two-Face's story arc through both the shows and the comics, the math comes up to him only being able to have two years of college before becoming a DA. I'm not going to get into that right now, but it's a thing. Moving from there into Superman the Animated Series and Mixius Pixelated, we see a newspaper dated August 31st. Then we're given title cards that three months have passed, three months have passed again, fifth dimension months of relish pants and George and then another three months and then according to the calendar on Clark's desk it's May 22nd but it's been a whole year so it should be August again towards the end in a fish story Jimmy Olsen states that he only has his learner's permit but the series happens over the course of at least two years possibly three years the Daily Planet hired a 12 year old intern in the Zeta project. Zeta went renegade on August 5th, 2041. But in Batman Beyond, we're told that those events happened six days ago. The problem with that being August 11th, 2041 is going to be a Sunday, but everybody is in school those days. Tim Drake's age, he starts off as 13 in 1999 and still looks 13 by the time of the flashback of Return of the Joker. And trust me, real soon you'll understand why that's a problem. The weirdness doesn't stop there. As I stated in our video on Static's age, he should technically be 16 by the end of the series. And yet there are the lines still about him not being old enough to drive makes it seem as though he hasn't reached that age yet. Or as I mentioned in our Batman and Harley Quinn video, it's implied that 10 years ago she was a high school senior and yet that wouldn't work with all of her college education and character arc and story path. It's possible that Bruce Tim was going off his supposed vision of Batman always being in his mid-30s. Paul Dini stating Harley is seven years younger than Batman and he just extrapolated back from that. But that's not how time works. So what does this mean for the timeline? Is it worth even worrying about all the minutia of dates and mentions of time passing? Probably not. However, as Dan Slott once said, what happens off screen or off panel tends to be the most interesting stuff. And to me, while some may see blatant contradictions in this timeline weirdness, I see a way to look at things in a more imaginative standpoint and maybe try to explain the weird things that are going on. For instance, maybe as I've stated before, Harley saw Bobby Leibowitz sometime after high school. Or sure, Virgil is 16, but he just still might not have a driver's license yet. Same goes with Jimmy Olsen and his learner's permit. Two-Face, maybe there's an interesting story as to how he got to become the district attorney with only two years of college. Tim, maybe he never hit his growth spurt. There's plenty of ways to look around all this weirdness. And while it's there, it doesn't make me see this universe as any lesser. So what's your take on it? Does seeing the cracks and the architecture kind of make you love the DCAU less? Or like me, does it make your mind and just run with imaginative ideas on how to fix things. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject down in the comments below. This has been Vanishing Point.
We'll see y'all in two weeks.